It's been 25 years and everybody's still going crazy. What's up guys, Louis Duran here again and I'm here going to be talking about Godzilla 1990. I'm... Oh, Zilla. Yeah, uh... This isn't the Godzilla Final War show, so Zilla's not here. So I'm going to be talking about Godzilla 1998, one of my favorite Godzilla incarnations in the whole entire Godzilla franchise. Sure, it's not the best Godzilla, and no, it's not one of my favorites just because of nostalgia. No, it's not one of my favorites because this was my first Godzilla movie. I truly, in my heart, love this version of Godzilla, but that's for another time. We're going to be talking about Spyro Studios' Godzilla 1998 statue. Instant pre-order, by the way. I'm so excited for that thing. Oh, so beautiful. That figure is chef's kiss but we're going to be talking about spyro studios godzilla 1998 and the reason why they slapped zilla's name on godzilla 1998 long story short toho is still butthurt about godzilla 1998's release and they are still throwing zilla's name on godzilla 1998 in 2023 so Spyro Studios revealed Godzilla 1998 for the Legacy Series line that they are making. Zilla's names being slapped on Godzilla 1998. There's a lot of people in the community pointing figures at each other. You know, pointing like this, going like that, going up there, going down here, you know, going that way. I am seeing everything that is being said about Godzilla 1998 and Zilla. And it's cool, it's cool. I like seeing all these people talk about Godzilla 1998 again. You know, it's it's great. I'm loving this. People are talking about the mutated iguana from 1998 with the name Godzilla. And, and people are talking about Zilla from Godzilla Final Wars. It's great. It's a good time. Spyro Studios, you know, revealed a Godzilla 1998 statue that they were releasing. Um, set to release in 2024 with the name Zilla on it. People reacted in two ways. People reacted with, that's not Zilla, that's Godzilla 1998 from the 1998 film called Godzilla. And then there's other people going like, see, I told you that's Zilla. Spyro Studios confirmed it themselves. So those are the two reactions that we are getting from this whole Godzilla 1998 name debate. Godzilla was released from TriStar, directors of Roland Emmerich and Dean Devlin in 1998. A lot of people and a lot of fans did not like this version of Godzilla, mainly because of three things. Godzilla doesn't breathe atomic breath. Godzilla gets hurt from military weapons. And Godzilla dot, eh, kind of. Godzilla kind of dies at the end of the film. Godzilla himself that we were introduced to in the film dies. The creature dies. Kind of. And that's why a lot of fans do not like this version of Godzilla and also because of the characters, but that's just another thing. And also because of the baby Godzillas that we see in the film, that's also another thing. The reason why, you know, they don't, a lot of fans and a lot of people don't like this version of Godzilla is because it doesn't portray the original Godzillas. I can understand why, you know, it's it, it's kind of heartbreaking because you're expecting an awesome American Godzilla and this was the first American Godzilla to ever be made and you're expecting an awesome American representation of your beloved favorite Japanese monster and then it just comes down to poop. So yeah, I can understand why a lot of people don't like it, but at the same time, I still love it. So I, anyway, yeah, Godzilla 1998 was released in theaters and you know, 1998, a lot of people didn't like it, blah, blah, blah. Then in 2001, Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters, All Out Attack came out, and a lot of people were like, oh my goodness, they just referenced Godzilla 1998 in the film, mainly because of this scene right here. <laughs> Obviously, uh, they're not talking about Godzilla 1998, to be specific, because in 1998's Godzilla movie, they never mentioned anything about a 1954 monster. You know, they never mentioned anything of the sort. Obviously, that was a little nod to Godzilla 1998. Then in 2004, Godzilla Final Wars came to town in Japan, and and they had a new creature with a bunch of other monsters but the only new creature that they had besides monster x and monster x2 slash kaiser Ghidorah, was zilla and a lot of people were like oh the american godzilla versus the japanese godzilla what toho did was took the 1998 creature for that that was used for godzilla 1998 and they just slapped the name Zilla on it because of course Godzilla 1998 took the god out of Godzilla so they just renamed him Zilla. I am going to admit I love that they did that. It's cool. I love how they took Godzilla 1998's creature design and threw him in a Godzilla movie and had him fight against the real Godzilla. That was a really cool thing that Toho did. Even though I see Zilla get attacked right away and get killed off, it was still cool seeing that this creature design in the movie. And then a few years later, IDW released a few Godzilla comics with Zilla in it and then had Zilla go up against Godzilla, which gave us Godzilla versus Zilla in a comic, which is really cool. That was really the only thing we really got from Zilla. And then we fast forward a little bit in like 2013 and 2014, a few Godzilla movies 
these were released to the states in blu-ray they just released a bunch of godzilla movies oh and we're gonna go back to this godzilla godzilla 1998 they released godzilla 1998 and the dvd had godzilla not zilla a few years later in 2019, Toho and X Plus released a Godzilla 1998 Devil Reel with the baby Godzilla. They released two of them that had the name Godzilla. And now that Spyro Studios are making it their own Godzilla 1998 figure, Toho are not being fair with Spyro Studios. This has a lot of people talking in the community, you know, saying like, see, I told you this is Zilla. It's a uh, Spyro Studio confirms it. And a lot of people are not accepting the fact that Godzilla 1998 is actually being loved. Let me just back up for a second and have you think about that. In 2023, a lot of people and a lot of fans are loving Godzilla 1998 and when you see these videos of why you know Godzilla 1998 is good and why I love Godzilla 1998 they don't mention the creature Zilla from Final Wars they mention Godzilla now a lot of people can say but they took the god out of Godzilla and that's why Toho renamed him Zilla and he dies at the very end of the movie well Godzilla 1998 really doesn't die necessarily because at the end of the movie a baby Godzilla reappears, meaning Godzilla still lives on. And with the Blu-ray Godzilla 1998, they had the trademark Godzilla. In the X Plus Defo Reel Godzilla figures, they have the trademark Godzilla. It seems that Godzilla fans can't accept that people are now loving this Godzilla 1998. And, and I'm seeing a few videos out there saying like, this isn't Godzilla because Spyro Studios. It seems that you aren't accepting that people are now loving this creature and now that they're loving this version of Godzilla. And now that you see that people are just storming up Spyro Studios, not having the name Godzilla on it. It seems that people who make those videos are now surprised that, oh my God, people love Godzilla 1998 why like it's just crazy to me guys I, I don't understand it and then the thing that's funny is that a lot of people also look at godzilla final wars and they go oh look they make zilla's cgi look bad because they're making fun of godzilla 1998 cgi that's not the case at all toho cgi at the time was terrible look at godzilla millennium and then look at all these other millennium godzilla movies that they use cgi in horrible yeah there's bad cgi in there but it's not all the time. It's funny how people has actually said that they made Zilla look bad in Godzilla Final Wars because they were making fun of Godzilla 1998 CGI when really that was not the case. They just couldn't handle a full good looking CGI monster in the whole movie because it would just lose their budget. What I also can grasp my head around is why people call this Zilla because this isn't Zilla. I'm gonna keep repeating myself. This right here isn't Zilla. This is Zilla this is not because everything that's been released for this creature behind me has always been labeled godzilla but now that toho is trying to erase time and erase history people are getting confused now they're going like oh yep see it's zilla it's been zilla from the start no it has not this has always been godzilla you can't change it what makes godzilla 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 and gojira dies at the very end of the movie no other godzilla or baby form put at the very end sure they do reference that godzilla will always live on due to humans godzilla vs destroyer godzilla dies godzilla 1998 godzilla dies what makes godzilla godzilla and you can't sit here and tell me well it's very very different from the original godzilla because it just ignores all the formula of godzilla so did shin godzilla there was a tadpole form in that movie and to top it off there's humanoid godzillas in the movie now, don't get me wrong i love shin godzilla okay i'm just trying to defend my boy shin godzilla changed godzilla completely nobody's calling him tadpole zilla turkey zilla or snake zilla you know nobody's calling him that they're calling him godzilla and why can't people call this godzilla he's just a mutated iguana and sure it's not the most realistic approach for the time it was way better than this than this and this and this and this the general audience in america did not want to see that if you told a random citizen would you like to see this in the new american godzilla movie probably think they wouldn't really want to see that they would probably want to see an, a realistic approach because obviously they don't know all of this and you guys need to stop throwing well spire studios uh has it's, it's zilla see no it's not zilla 
this figure is truly based off Godzilla 1998 and a few Godzilla 1998 maquettes. I think it's just time to give this whole thing a rest and accept the fact that this Godzilla is finally being loved. It's a version of Godzilla. Sure, it's not for everyone, but it's still and forever will be a version of Godzilla. It will be a Godzilla incarnation. It would be a version of Godzilla we never saw before. And in all honesty, I'm really glad it was made because I wouldn't be here making this video for you guys. Godzilla 1998 is finally getting a amazing, realistic, accurate statue of its kind. And yes, guys, people love Godzilla 1998. It is not Zilla. This one right here is Godzilla. This one is Zilla. Now, guys, I'm going to say I'm not forcing you to call this guy Godzilla, okay? That's not, I'm not like you know, pointing a Godzilla toy down your head or anything. I'm just, yeah, they're the same creature, they're the same species, but they are not called the same. And I am pretty happy that I talked about it. I am very excited to get this out there for you guys. Please let me know in the comments on what you guys think about this whole debacle. It's stupid. And I am just about fed up with all the Godzilla 1998 hate. It has been 25 years, people. Please let it go. If you guys can let something like this go, I'm sure you can let this guy go. And also it kind of does bother me when people just do it like a top 35 Godzilla movies and Godzilla 1998 is the very last one. That blows my mind because from what I recall, there's Godzilla's Revenge. Hey, come on over here. I won't hurt you. You won't? And people say that this Godzilla movie was worse than that one. Doesn't makes sense to me but anyways guys that was my video for today i hope you guys enjoyed this please let me know in the comments on what you think about the whole godzilla 1998 debacle it is about time we all give it a rest and let's embrace godzilla 1998 because i know a lot of you are now loving this version of godzilla and you guys want to see more godzilla 1998 merchandise put out to the world you guys want to see stuff from Haya toys you guys want to see stuff from Spiral Studios again. And you guys want to see stuff from Bandai, Movie Monster Series line, SH Monster Arts even. I know a lot of you want Godzilla 1998 figures made by all those companies. Guys, I think it's about time we all give it a rest. And we all show Godzilla 1998 a bit of love here. It's just a good time to be a Godzilla fan. And it's a good time to be a Godzilla 1998 fan. Because I think this year I'm just focusing my collecting on Godzilla 1998. And you guys will see why in just a few months here and maybe a week but guys that was my video i hope you guys enjoyed this please tell me in the comments on what you guys think about this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this i probably won't disappoint you so hope you guys enjoyed this remember to subscribe and like and all that good stuff and remember it's godzilla not zilla get it right thanks for watching